I'm sorry, but you have given me everything that you can. I will never forget you. You never gave up on me. You lasted two years. We're very proud of you, but it's time for you to go into retirement. They were such good turbos for the cost. $360 for the two of them. But it's time to let them go. It's time to finally upgrade. finally changing the turbos two years on $180 a piece turbos they have done everything that I can ask for and more they didn't break they built boost up to 30 pounds now after watching some videos I realized some major things um, I seen a tuners that had basically the same turbo I got on a Mustang it was a single setup and with that same turbo he was only pushing like right at 600 horse they changed it over to a VS Racing Turbo, made 700 plus. So it was a 100 horsepower difference just in the turbos. Um, will I get that? More than likely, probably. Um, honestly, I think the way we were running them, as hard as we were running them, I'm really hoping we'll gain at least minimum 100 horsepower, which should easily put me down in the eights, which is what I want. Um, Steve, if you're watching this, Tell me what you think. Um, you know, the master tuner, Steve. So, we're gonna go ahead and start getting this done. I'm very impressed with these so far, and let me show you why. Something these other turbos didn't come in, these did. This, I'm hoping will fix some of my turbo drain issues that I was having. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get the turbo drain on and off these. Something else I wanna see. Everything looks the same, so it should, in theory, bolt right back in to right here. So, with that, I'm gonna start on it. Then I gotta go pick kids up from the school bus, which is why I keep the golf cart right there. I have to go up the road there and go pick kids up from school off the bus. So, then we'll come back, try to finish it up. Uh, I'm gonna get the tripod out. We'll do a little time lapse stuff, but I'll give you the good, the bad, the ugly, and we'll see how these things are gonna fit. I am hoping, with what I'm thinking, that this will go a lot smoother than it did to get those things off. So let's get this set up and get this thing started. So guys, I'm gonna show y'all something I noticed real quick. Number one, this actually has little grooves on it, um, which I'm, I'm assuming helps with air. But also notice how much this one spins versus this one. See how quick that one stops? And it's always been like that since new, so it's not because it's worn out, both of them do it. But this one, I just, and it keeps wanting to go. So maybe that'll help a whole bunch. It is weird how, look how short this nut is on this one. Look how long it is on this. I don't know why, but it's just something I happen to notice. You know, you always got to spin your turbo just to play with it. Like, wee. But we got the first one in. Time to get the second one in. So, guys, you look over here. Bloops. Turbos are on, but ran into a problem. Um, the feed is much smaller than both my other feeds went to steve's he gave me what we thought would work um because you know this is what what a normal should be but nope uh, we're assuming that's eighth inch mpt so 
Tomorrow I'm gonna run to the store, pick up some eighth inch MPT fittings, and hopefully be able to fire this thing. Um, it was pretty straightforward, luckily. I know if I do this again, I will be bolting the turbos on, not using studs. Um, but that'll give me time to make sure I run through everything tomorrow and uh, make sure everything's nice and tight and fitting well and um, trying to get the other intake tube on to the headlight funnel, which is a pain in the butt. But I'll see you tomorrow. So guys, it's the next day. As you look here, got all the turbo feeds on. I got the other clamp down the bottom on the other side over there on. I still have not got the intake tube on this side 100% on but it's enough where I can fire it um, we're just gonna try to run it see what happens make sure everything's not leaking you know basically uh, that don't look good basically just make sure everything's good so let's get in the car we're gonna start up see what happens my little one wants to be in the film you wanna say hi Rara? hi <laughs> all right step over here for a minute Try to start the car. Number one, make sure it's in park. Always make sure the car is in park. I'm gonna make sure. Hmm. <laughs> we have no power. No power good. That's not good. good. Alright, retry guys. I think my battery is must have left the power on and it's I think killed it, so which I'm surprised because it's been doing really good. Alright, Pumpkin. Retry. Stay right there. Oh, we need a key. Where's the key? Back here. Hey, don't grab on Which is not going to be fun. so loud. It's not even loud. <laughs> yes, it is. It ain't loud. This one's quiet. Alright, guys, I have to replace the two bang clamps because both of them, I don't know, they didn't want to sit right. And then by the time I tighten them up, I broke them. So that's why I keep spares. I might have to order some more spares up. Seems to be running fine. I'm going to put it on two step later. Uh, right now, we're about to have to go help. Uh, we're going to go with Steve and Joe um, and look at my buddy Albert's car. Um, try to figure out why it won't start. But, the S Racing Turbos are working. They sound good. I don't know on the boost what's going to happen yet. But, I guess we'll see when we get to the track one day in the next week or two. Right now, I can't go this Friday. I already tried, so possibly next Friday. So, guys, we're kind of doing a twofer here. Um, turbos are on. I still think I had a small exhaust leak right there. So I took the header off, did the old school trick, put some red or gold or whatever you want, high temp um, silicone on it. I have it squeezed back together, the header back on, letting that set up. Last night we also ran into another small issue. My circuit breaker in the trunk somehow just took a crap um luckily the store up the road had another one so it's just this little circuit breaker it kept tripping causing my alternator not to want to run right but we're gonna do something else real quick steve was watching real tuners podcast and trz was on there if you don't know who trz is they're one of the leading suspension people for g bodies fox bodies a bodies a lot of that kind of drag stuff 
Um, they've engineered a lot of this stuff over the years to help a lot of us racers out. And they made some suggestions for radio cars that we didn't know about. Um, so right now, here in just a minute, after I kind of finished going through some of this, I'm trying to clean up a little bit. It's driving me nuts. Uh, garage is a mess. But uh, I'm going to crawl under there and then get the bar angles and note what they are. Um, and we're also going to do exactly what we thought and back the rebound way down. So a couple small things and the car is done. The car is two-stepping really good. We got Albert's car running last night. So hopefully there'll be three of us at the track next Friday. Um, that's the goal as of right now. I'm not positive that's going to happen. So all depends on everybody and the weather and all that. So, but we're going to crawl under the car. I made sure it was in park and, uh, we're gonna do some checking. All right guys, so we're under the car and as you can tell, my lower control arm, trailing arm, not control arm. I put a uh, angle finder on it and we're right at four degrees on the lower, which is exactly what he said. The worst one is gonna be this one up here. It's super, it's kinda hard to see. I almost need a digital one let's see here I don't know if that's correct or not if it is then we are not good for some reason this is just a pain in the butt to get that one to alright so we're at 16 looks we're like we're at 16 on the uppers and five on the lowers let me go over here this one seems to be a little easier to see on the upper part maybe so they're showing 15, 16, somewhere right around there. It's kind of making a pain. Really need a digital one. But I'm going to say we're at 15 to 16. On the side one, we're still at 4. So let's crawl out and try to see what the specs were. So, guys, I checked our number. Upper bar is actually a little high. Um, the lower bar is spot on um, in the higher side from what they said. They said 13 to 16 on the angle down on the upper bar, 3 to 5 on the lower bar angled up. We're at 5 on the lower and 17 to 18 on the upper, so we're a little high. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about it unless I re-drill holes into the torque box and re-angle it up, and that might happen. But we'll see what the car does with some shock adjustments, the new tires. Um, and everything else and just kind of play with it and with the new turbos and everything we're hoping this car will go i think it can go 570s steve watch this steve if you're watching this give me your opinion what you think i think 570s is possible we're wanting to hit this car about 10 pounds off the line we've been launching it about four um so we got a few more small things to do next friday we're gonna go out um i'll probably take this i'll probably go to albert's and film a little bit um, so y'all can see that car because um, we're going to go over there and kind of help him go through the car, make sure everything's good, nut and bolt check it. It's basically, it's not a brand new build, but with everything's been replaced basically. So it never hurts to have an extra set of eyes on it, nut and bolt check everything. Um, just always remember that, guys. But that's really it for now. Not a whole lot going on here. Just trying to finish up a lot of small stuff. Appreciate all the subscribers, guys, all the people that have recently joined after LS Fest and everything. Um, you know, we're having fun doing it, and hopefully we can keep doing it for the next year. We're almost at 2,000. That, that was my goal, is hopefully hit 2,000 this year. So we got another couple months. Hopefully we get there pretty soon. But that's it, guys. If you need anything, let me know. Message me. Um, if you would, hit the notification bell. Give this video a like. It helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Hit me up on all the social medias. Like, subscribe. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.